These days, you can learn a lot about property online, but the best advice and the juiciest insights are learned on the job, living, breathing, visiting, and buying property on a daily basis. And after buying 435 properties in 2023, we realized that there were three huge lessons that we're gonna take into 2024. So today, we will give you that secret insight into what those lessons are and how you can use them to make better investments. But in order to understand these lessons, I first need to explain how we buy properties. So say there's a property developer working on a big site. They'll have a sales team, and that sales team will normally have a target of selling one property every week or two. These properties are normally sold to individuals, and very occasionally to companies like us. In our case, we negotiate with the developer to buy, for example, 20 units in one go. And because we're doing that, we negotiate a discount, which we can pass on to our clients. So why is this important to understand? Well, in 2020 and 2021, people started working from home. So everyone wanted a house with plenty of space, a garden, and a spare room for their office. And even when prices shot up due to this demand, cheap mortgages and people's desire to make a big lifestyle change meant that they were willing to keep on buying, which meant that property developers were selling at twice the rate that they were in pre-pandemic times. In other words, their sales targets were getting smashed. But in the middle of 2022, when mortgage rates started climbing and the pandemic boom was over, sales started slowing down. And this was the case not just for the developers that we work with but for the wider market as well. So did this mean that there were loads of deals to do in 2023? Absolutely not. And why not? Well it's for the same reason people wear shorts in late October. It's cold and you know it's cold. Actually it's been cold for the last few weeks but you don't want to admit that summer is over. And this is what happened to developers. They stuck to their price expectations even as their sales rate fell because many deals just didn't stack up at new higher mortgage rates. So although a slow market should have been good news for us, we had real trouble finding stock. And for individual sellers in the general market, it was pretty much the same. They quite liked the fact that their property had gone up by 20% in a couple of years, and they weren't willing to admit that prices were slipping back the other way. But then towards the end of 2023, something changed. Individuals started to get real, and developers finally realized that their sales were very slow and not getting any faster, meaning that they had a load of empty buildings sitting around unsold, which is the one thing they really don't want. So in the last few months of the year, we managed to agree some of our biggest discounts in years. Developers had finally worked their way through their grief and ended up at acceptance. In other words, they finally threw away their shorts and put on a pair of trousers. So now we understand what happened in 2023, what three lessons can we take from it and help us make better decisions in 2024? 2023 certainly wasn't a seller's market, but nor was it a buyer's market. It was just a stagnant market. But as 2024 continues, it's coming back to life with buyers very much in the driving seat. Developers are acknowledging that they need to sell and individuals are realizing they can't wait forever. If they want to move, they need to be realistic and give back some of those COVID gains. So you can use this to your advantage when you're negotiating and ask for more aggressive discounts. When dealing with developers, you might not be able to negotiate a discount on the actual price, because that's always a last resort for them. But you might be able to do some bargaining on the terms. So you can see if you can get them to throw in add-ons like flooring, appliances, or furniture. And since you'd be spending money to furnish your new house with these items anyway, it's as good as getting cash. And if you're buying a property that's still in the middle of construction, you can try to negotiate an upgrade on the specification or something like a discounted parking space. This year, we might be in a buyer's market, but not all buyers are equal. And the main differentiating factor is speed. From a developer's perspective, every day that a finished property is sitting empty is costing them money. So an offer from someone who can complete in 30 days is far more appealing than someone who might take 90 or more. For individual sellers, it's similar. But the key here is that with speed, comes certainty. With everything that's happened with mortgages over the last couple of years, sellers are going to be nervous of buyers who are using finance. Who knows if the lender is going to reduce their valuation of the property at the last minute, or if rates will spike again and cause the buyer to pull out. So if you're in a position to buy with cash this year, you'll be at a big advantage. But even if you're not, showing you're prepared and ready to act fast will get you a long way. As an investor, you've got a natural advantage because you won't have another property to sell. But also, if you're buying as a company, be ready to show that you've got the company set up, the lawyer ready to appoint, and that everything is ready to go. And if you are using a mortgage, get a decision in principle from the lender 
to give the seller confidence that you can afford to buy the property and there are less likely to be any unexpected holdups. So based on what we learned in 2023, I really think that 2024 will be a year for doing great deals. But the avalanche of opportunities that we're expecting in 2024 actually creates a challenge for investors. Because if there are that many options out there, how are you gonna find time to research them all? Well, watch this video next, where we share a method to assess a property deal in a matter of minutes and give you a spreadsheet you can use to copy our exact process.